a devil uh, X R C. What? And a, a game Game Gear. I mean these. Hello and welcome to Game Concise. This episode is going to be really weird. We're out here in my little workshop area today, rather than inside. So you're going to hear some birds uh, tweeting and things like that. It's kind of a gloomy day, but uh, it's a good day to be outside even though it's hot. The reason I'm making this video uh, a little bit different and outside, and it's not even going to have anything to do with games, and that is because, well, it's my channel and I can do what I want. So. What are we looking at? Well, we've got my Sanyo uh, cassette player slash AM FM radio up there. And the reason why I'm bringing that to your attention is because I went and picked up this. Now, I love cassettes. I love old music. I actually buy new music on cassette occasionally when it's available just because I like the sound of cassettes and to fiddle with them and I listen to them out here in my little workshop and stuff. But I got this at, at a, a flea market, $3. Uh, you know, a bag of 16 normal bias type 1 used cassette tapes. And I was like, well, that's cool. I wanted cassette tapes for a different project I was working on, but at the same time, I'm really, really curious what is actually on these tapes. Somebody's, uh, you know, piano recital or something like that. It'd be hilarious to, to have a listen to that, I should think. But uh, you never know. So we're gonna look at it together because I'm bored and I have the time and I feel like doing this. So let's open her up and uh, see what kind of fun stuff we have waiting for us. The audio is gonna be weird. Uh, I'm not one of those, you know, technical dudes who has a little, I don't know, lapel mic or whatever they're called uh, that goes under your, your shirt and picks up your voice. I don't know, I'm just not one of those guys. I don't really care enough about doing that. But anyway, here we go. We're going to rip this thing open. Who needs that plastic bag? I'll take a look at some of these tapes and listen to them and see what we can have on them. Now, I'm not going to be able to play a super uh, long amount of these if they have music on them. Uh, I don't want to get popped. Look at that. Patsy Klein. That'll be interesting. We all know who Patsy Klein is. Oh, Jeff Foxworthy. Always good. Here, you know, the here's your sign guy. Is that? No, you might be a redneck, that guy. Sunday, February 2nd, 1997, 10 a.m. Bridgeport, Christ to each other, part two. Wow, that's going to be fantastic. Let's take a look. Oh, this one is unlabeled, but clearly used. Interesting to see what's on that. I think it's the same here. No, this one we have Linda Boisness the Doubt and Lou Rawls, Linda Boyhustat, Roy Hustat. I don't know, maybe you can try Googling these names, Lou Rawls, don't know either of those people, maybe they play music, maybe they talk about things, who knows, oh, okay, theme from Ghost Unchained Melody, am I saying that right, Natalie Cole, Unforgettable, theme from Twin Peaks, is that what that says? Oh boy. Jim Chappell, Chapel, Jim Chapel, In Search of Magic, uh, continued? Stephen Moons, I don't know. One of 93, or one of 1993. January of 1993 is when this was recorded. Little bits of history everywhere with this. This would be absolutely stunning to listen to, I'm sure. They're just gonna be riveting. Not labeled, good, good. Hmm. Uh, pff. Cornicia, 11 of 93, James Galway on clarinet. Okay, I don't know who James Galway is. Actually, no, he's a flute player, isn't he? Why would he be on clarinet? Well, I guess we'll find out. Maybe it's just somebody else named James Galway. Corinia again? Cor Corelia? Don't know. A lot of these are going to be churchy. And uh, pres <laughs> I'm presuming this came from an old person. Or at least somebody religious who liked boring music. We'll see. Memorex DBS. No label on this. What could be? Maybe some kid has taped stuff off the radio. When I was little, I used to make radio shows on my cassette recorder. Type tape number five. That's all the description we get of this one. So we're probably going to that one first. So we got to know what's on tape number five. And then, ooh, huh? Oldies number two. Good, good. And. Hmm. Doesn't appear to be labeled either. Okay, so we have some unlabeled ones. 
oldies number five. Let's find the unlabeled ones and we'll set those aside. Here we go, just the one labeled tape number five. We'll go ahead and start there. Let's bring this guy down. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh boy, what's in there right now? Milli Vanilli. Girl, you know it's true. <laughs> Classic. Okay, let's see what we got. Start with uh, side D? No, that can't be right. Which one's side A? Somebody tell me. It doesn't really say. I guess you would label them on your own. Let's just start with this side. Ready? For the magic, here we go. Well, that sounds like uh, absolute garbage. It's not the best uh, tape recorder, tape player, but it does the trick. I feel like this is just recorded badly. Rewind a little bit, see what we got. Just some uh, piano music, it sounds like. Ooh. Almost spooky, I'd say. Wow. Okay, let's flip it over and see what we got. Pretty much more of the same. Oh my goodness. It's a really weird. Please, won't you tell me who is she? To tell me, Ma. The boys won't leave the girls alone. Well, that's what that is. That's interesting to find that on a cassette tape. Nice. Cool, so we have an idea of what's on there, and that's a really cool find right off the bat, actually. I love it. Tape number five has got the, uh, the Tell Me Ma. I don't know what side it was on, but who cares? Let's try this unlabeled one. First, well, second, we just went. Christmas music, probably the whole tape. You better believe it. Was this labeled Christmas music? I don't think it was. Fast f oh, I'm rewinding. Yeah, Christmas music on that side. We'll go on the other side. Wow. Okay, you get the gist of that. <laughs> oh, this one's labeled right here. Let's take a look at it. Even if I tried, I think we're onto something. It's not the one of the long as I got you any little lie. Life is good. Honey tonk habits? Honky tonk habits? There'll be <clears throat> no crying more. Okay, well, you get the idea. Side B has the track listing there. Interesting, uh, I guess. <laughs> uh, let's move on to another one. This one also unlabeled. Maybe there'll be a label inside? Who knows? Maxwell. Nope. What side is this? Don't care. But you can see this is why this stuff sounds so horrible. Look at the tape on these, man. The tapes are just all old and bad and warped and... I'm not a huge uh, cassette head or anything. Huh, is this a Paul Simon thing from his... Interesting. Sounds like it. It's on the other side. Just other stuff. I'm really hoping to come across these one of these and maybe find somebody talking randomly into the cassette. Maybe recording a journal or something that'd be interesting. I don't think people did that. Maybe I'm making that up. Why won't this tape go in? Am I an idiot? I sure am. There it goes that way. Okay. What's next? Another unlabeled one. I love the uh, design on this old tape. I don't look if there's anything on this one. We can try and see. Oop. Oh, doesn't like this one at all, does it?
Ooh, spooky. Huh. That's giving me the creeps. It's on the other side. This is Ray Lynch. This is Deep Breakfast. That's fantastic. I have this album right here. <laughs> I found Ray Lynch Deep Breakfast on an unlabeled cassette from a thrift store. That's fantastic. Okay, moving on. What's next? Oh, this just says Christmas music. It was labeled after all. I don't think we'll listen to that one. What's next? So far, I've been able to uh, identify two things that we've found so far. That, that one had that weird rendition of I Tell Me Ma. And then that was uh, Ray Lynch, that last one. What's this one going to be? Let's find out. Ooh. Hmm. Oh, my. Okay. Sounds nice. What's on the other side of this one? Oh. So all of these have sounded like absolute garbage so far. I don't know if that's my fault, the radio's fault, or the tape's fault. Most likely the uh, the tape's fault would be my guess. A lot of these old tapes, they just don't stand up well. But these uh, self-recorded tapes, of course this is not a very good tape player either. I am by no means like a, like a tape head or a... I actually like it when it sounds all ridiculous and distorted and wavy. Is this Christmas music or everything just sounds really spooky on this cassette player? You know, a lot of times with these old tapes, you can take them and rewind them all the way and then fast forward them all the way and then rewind them all the way and they'll sort of uh sort of get reseated and sound better but this one we have to rewind for a while i think before we may maybe won't even hear anything on this one could be a blank side yeah we'll give it that one we'll just say it's blank cool beans moving on to another tape What's next? This crazy one. I love how this one looks. It looks great. What's that say? Super fine. Epsilaxel? <laughs> uh, whatever you say, Mr. Cassette. Let's go with side B first, because that's the one facing us. Yes, sir. All right, what's on the other side of this one? Side A. Nothing? Let's rewind a little bit and find out. Nothing. We'll call it nothing. Alright, you know what? Some of the other ones are labeled. Let's check out some of the labeled ones. We got... Alright, go on then. Very clear about what they want. Uh, next Christmas. Hey. And uh, Galen, my ten-year-old, uh, um, he wants a, a you know a APS. You know what, what do you call it? A uh, a devil uh, XRC. What? A, a game Game Gear. I mean these. I don't think anybody knows what you're talking about, buddy. Next side. side either. We we're talking about Game Gears though, how appropriate. Patsy Klein, let's do it anyway. Oh, shit. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know which side I just took out and which side I just put in. Oh, there we go. Let's do the other side of Patsy Klein. Hey, hey. Nothing. Okay. What's next? 
Jeff Foxworthy. I'm sorry, but I'm going to skip you. Linda something something and Lou or something. Um, side B first. Somebody will really like their uh, down tempo. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, are you? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. You feel that in your bones, can't you? Next set. Alright, well that's real interesting. I've never heard of uh, Linda Bohustat before. But it was interesting. I like that blues on the other side better. It's this one. Cor Coralina? Coral Coraluna? Find out. What side is this? B. B first. Keep wanting to do B side first. Oh. Well, that's a, a rendition of uh, Bridge Over Troubled Water. What's this one? Side A. <laughs> Curious to find that on there. That's funny. Oh boy. Is this one again? Oh, it's Coralina again. James Galway on clarinet. So this is probably some interesting Irish stuff, but like I said, I think James Galway is a uh, flute player. So what does he sound like on clarinet? We'll find out. Well, that's definitely a flute. It's a virtuoso for sure. What's the other side? B. Nothing labeled on the tape. Somebody's just recorded the album, I'm assuming. Very soothing, very relaxing, sort of uh, classical styling there. Let's see here. Oldies number two. wonder what the song is going to be. Side A first this time. <laughs> Let's pretend that we're together all alone. Ooh. Very nice. Okay. Last tape. Last but not least. This is the uh Theme from Ghost, un, uh, Ghost, Unchained Melody, and some other things. Inya. Oh, okay. That's what that says. Let's just find out what's on side A for a little bit. Okay, side B then. Beautiful. Well, there you go. We have some that we'd like to uh, keep. I cannot believe I found Ray Lynch on cassette. Somebody had recorded. That's so funny. You know, it was one of the uh, uh, most popular selling, actually, if not the most popular, the most selling new wave electric sort of thing when it came out, I think in like 1984 or whatever. But, yeah, well, I guess I can check right here. There's There he is. 1983 to 1984. There you go. Anyway, there you go. Thanks for joining me on this. Now I have a bunch of cassettes that I don't know what to do with. The Ray Lynch one to find is cool. The other one was pretty neat with the uh, the church one that was talking about Game Gear games. Maybe we'll find the game he was talking about and talk about it on here. Who knows? Like I said, it's my channel. I do what I want. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye. Like and subscribe, please.